All right, welcome everybody to round two. We've got Duo Cat number 22 up the top of your screen on Combray Relics. We've got number eight RNG on Argent Port mid range down at the bottom, starting things off with a Vine Grafter. Uh, yeah. Usually, this, this, this uh, matchup is uh, favored for Cabray. Mm -hmm. Because uh, that's exactly, basically, Argent Port Meat is exactly the deck that uh, Cabray is built to win versus. You, you remove all units, you remove uh, opponent, opponent uh, sides with uh, your uh, speaking circle, mm -hmm. and, uh, and then you win. Yeah, although it's a little tough right now. Duo Cat's hand is <laughs> Speaking Circle Builder's Decree and a whole bunch of power. And RNG has an active Regents tube and cleared out that Age Warren Vestige. So units are safe for now. Although I have to say that uh, Liz Time Playing have some tech uh, versus uh, Cambrai that uh, apparently RNG do not have. Uh, does not have uh, so yeah. If you have the tech, you have a chance, but but not sure there is a chance here. Builder's decree here that's going to take out Slay for a few turns, and it's going to get a five five Sentinel for Duo Cat, and five five pretty big right now. Although it, RG has the four four flyer. Duo Cat a bit flood flooded in power. Yeah. Uh, so this uh, this this is the opening the RG may. See. He's here. Going to really get a is... big hit off of the speaking circle. An equalize would be pretty good. Or or actually uh, any removal. Any removal. A a any mass, re mass removal. Uh, any mass removal would be pretty good. Up a lot. Let's see. But it's... yes, there is no mass removal. Suffocate. One more. That'll take out one, but need something better than that. That's another removal spell, but again, only one unit. I guess Dockhead have one more turn to draw into something. Worthy uh, cause. Good. And then cast out, put an enemy unit on his hand. And then can amplify, but that's not going to do anything here. So uh, the test, the text on Speaking Circle is going to get rid of the Regent's Tomb. Of course, it says at the end of each turn, if the enemy player has a site, kill it. So that's going to kill the site, and it's going to bounce a unit. But as we know, RNG can take out. The speaking circle yeah. here. Dockhead basically needs equalize, yeah. uh, arch power, or ha arch rule, sorry, or uh, what it's called, Shenra speaks mm -hmm. next turn. Otherwise, it seems. Uh, although he, he, although with this attack, uh, Dockhead probably would have one more turn. Mm -hmm. And we'll have one more turn, but I think with the other removal spells in there, RNG didn't want to lose another unit. But yeah, it does give Duo Cat also, an extra turn. That also gives uh, Duo Cat enough power to uh, Edge Worn uh, Vestige to also be out mm, for the next true. turn. All right, Slay's going to take out the 8 8. So this is, this is the last turn for Duo Cat. RNG's going to be able to hit in here, and it's going to be lethal next turn. So one draw step for Duo Cat needs a Wrath. Has to be a wrath. Nothing else will work, and it is. Well, it's it a Shadow right. speaks. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that's how you play versus Brain. <laughs> just like you think you almost get it, and then oh no. Okay. Uh, What's not. the which heirloom is this? So draw two units from your void. Give them Aegis and Endurance. Another speaking circle. Or actually, this is a speaking circle for RNG this time. So you can either go heirloom or you can go speaking circle. Yes, uh, uh, I guess you go for. I mean, versus this deck, you want something that hits the turn, turn it dropped. Yeah. Because, well, with, with now, uh, Door Cut is kind of in top deck mode. Uh, All right, so can you get Wasteland Broker and roll it instead of playing Speaking Circle? Yeah, I, I guess. Uh, I guess it's like. Uh, less uh, RNG type of turn, but yeah. all right. Let's see. But what I'm not put sure. Let's see if we can see what was put in from Wasteland Broker here. And, not, mine's not going to uh, matter. Uh, yeah, I, I guess it is game because I don't think. Oh, you, no, no, no. You you can't do. Oh, you have 
Knife. Okay, knife. Yes. Pretty good there. RNG had, it looks like, what are we missing from here? Vars Authority equalized. Regent's Tomb is gone. Cast in the Shadow. So it's Mokdo. So Inquisitor Mokdo went in there. Okay. I mean, you could get... This is funny. You kind of want like a cheap burn spell here, right? Just like do a couple damage. <laughs> do some damage to face would be pretty good. But I, I think I just haven't attacked yet, so... Uh, so th th that weapon is already gone. Mm -hmm. so, so this is going to be two to take it down to four. Is there a way to deal four damage? Well, five. Five damage. Five. Uh... Okay, what do we got? We have Quarry is going to draw units. The other, the other spells were stun two units, water conjuring, and ruin kill an enemy attachment. Okay, going to put two a cat down and to five. This, this, uh... This uh, I guess on um, uh, yeah, roll up. It's think. gonna protect from a wrath, yeah. Yeah. All right, builder's decree is gonna get some blockers, but the four four is still gonna come in, and we have the decimate anyway. So or the uh, uh, the conjuring, the water conjuring. Come in, but it, it will die to defense. That's true, but the yeah, yeah the water conjuring. That's yeah. right. Is gonna take those out. That stun worked. Yeah, speaking circle doing things. <laughs> doing speaking circle things. Speaking circle is also an interesting tech in uh, in RNG's market. Uh, all right, so RNG can the, take that one. Up one game. Remember, these are all best of three. Usually, yeah. Usually, you have something like uh, Jesus Office uh, instead of uh, speaking circle, but speaking circle seems interesting as well. It's a bit random, yes, but but at least it, it is good to the, the deck itself is kind of soft to the agent port meat. It's kind of soft to sites, mm -hmm. so speaking circle helps on this front. We'll see. Now, yeah, you had mentioned that you thought Combat Relics was pretty favored in this matchup. Um... I mean, it makes it makes kind of sense, right? Because the removal spells are kind of dead. You know, the annihilate's not going to hit very much. And I think we've mentioned before on the show that if you if you have two decks that are very similar, but one goes a little bit bigger and does things a little bit better, you know, a, a low to the ground mid range deck beats an aggro deck. A, a big mid range deck beats a middle mid range deck. A control deck beats a big mid range deck. I feel like you kind of see that here, where. The Argent Port deck is just doing everything the Duocast deck is doing, but a little bit smaller, and Duocast can just go over the top. Yeah, I guess the, I guess the main reason Duocast lost game one is uh, is just flooding uh, with power. Yeah, the hand was terrible. Yeah. All right, so gonna take a Mulligan here. Gonna get two insignias, and then four, 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 five. But they're pretty good. How good are the Rollins in that in that in this deck? Because they're not really units aren't dying on the other side of things, right? That's that's correct. So we're gonna go down to six and get a wasteland broker and a Jada Peacekeeper. Don't worry about the spectate bug at the top, folks. Look at the hand cam. That's gonna show you what's actually in Duo Cat's hand. Actually, Jada Peacekeeper plays uh, plays very good uh, versus uh, versus uh, exactly Duo Cat because. Uh, there is basically nothing to block it with on the cat side, mm -hmm. so it's basically for five for three, which which is nice. So it seems the cats uh, have this time around have uh, everything uh, he wants. Yeah, looks a little, looks a little better this time. Some removes. One res, uh, uh, some early interaction to to, to keep uh, yeah, to keep going bay. too fast. And this is nice for Duo Cat. It has the time to spend this turn playing Perilous Research because Duo Cat knows they've got Shenra Speaks coming next turn. Also has the Defiance uh, if if needed, but I don't think is going to need it here and because still at twenty three health. 
Yeah, RNG can't play CDT from the top because uh, his <laughs> only justice power is uh, yeah. is depleted. Yeah, the fifth justice is depleted. Yeah, that's funny. Actually, Joakat is going to fire off the Defiance on the Peacekeeper here. Going to save more damage. RNG going to follow up with a Rolent. I mean, I'm not even sure you're forced to play the Wrath at this point. I mean, it's the safe play, yeah, but I, you don't I have to. You just play to four here, or yeah, you can you can rest. I, I think it either way, can... right? You didn't have to though. I, I mean, you could have played the Diana, but you could have played Diana block uh, block four with it and next turn uh, go for it. Okay, right, I guess I don't put the Makta. Yeah, I got Makta this time. Makta, Makta, is, Makta is good versus the deck, mm -hmm. uh, exactly versus the deck because it goes back and back unless you do. Shenra uh, speaks to silence, is it right? Shenra so speaks Shenra speaks silence, will take yes. care of it permanently. But every other wrath, yeah, like you said, keeps coming back. All right, we're gonna see a builder's decree for five. That's gonna get a six six. Turn off that CDD. Yeah, the and there's the Makdo, yeah. That's a pretty good threat for RNG. That's gonna be tough for Dua Cat to deal with right now. That's actually another way to, to kill uh, Makta is uh, to lock it in hand, and then if the other copy of Makta comes back, you can't play it and it goes to it. Oh, right, because of the Builder's Decree, you can't even play it from the... Nice. But oh. it's, quite, it's quite hard to kind of catch uh, sure. Makta in hand. Yeah. Because because that's, that's the only card you probably want to play right away. Right. Uh, no matter what. Um, from an energy side. That is cool. Though. I've never seen that come up, but good good heads up acknowledging there. Vine Grafter here. Let's see if RNG throws the CD away. It's not like you're playing it. So, yeah, I'm going to do that and grab a cast into Shadow. That's going to be big next turn. Do a cat. Now, do a cat has a defiance. But Yes, and I guess it's time to play Diana. Yeah, I think you have to play Diana here. You have to continue. <laughs> It's kind of bad that you, you you kind of play a racing game versus decks that tries to go under you. Right. So I guess it's a space, on, not really a space on the range side, but. So we're going to get stunned with a Defiance. That's another way to temporarily deal with Magdo, is just to keep stunning it. But second Magdo coming down. And as you said, that's going to be tough for Duocat to do. But Duocat going on the race plan. I mean, RNG is at 13. Okay, and, got and, and also, also Dokat got uh, Shenrat Peaks, which can take care of these two Maktas. So only two Maktas will remain. Yeah, you're right. Aranjit's uh, decks. Shenrat Peaks, deck. good, good strong draw there for sure. Permanent answers to those Maktas. You do lose your two Sentinels, but... But it does take away uh, one power, and currently Dokat is kind of a low on power hmm. because uh, he can, he haven't drawn a lot of relics. Those two Mokdos are now permanently don't, gone. Alarming findings. You're going to get three sand crawlers with Overwhelm and draw three cards. Yes, uh, and that entry is basically, basically is, uh, on... Top, 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 top deck mode yeah. at the moment. And pretty low on health uh, at that. Cast into Shadow going to take care of two of the sand crawlers, and then a Blue Prince is going to allow an heirloom for RNG, but not a lot of time to deploy that. Yes, it's two, two, it slow. takes two turns, actually. Yeah. One turn to, 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 to sacrifice a relic, and then you only can play your minions right. on the next turn and right. you know, at 10. Oh, and that's a mock. <laughs> There's that, mock that number three. <laughs> because uh, Dokat himself is only on 12, so it's three mock to hit. And yeah. On the other hand, there is how many? Five cent crawlers? Yep, there's five relics, so that's going to be another perilous research. Give me five sand crawlers. Yeah, that's lethal next turn for Duo Cat. Even through and a locker. A cards, actually. And a lot of cards, yeah. 
And we can also draw a sentinel from the market as well. And actually another way to remove uh, to remove Magda is uh, to play to do do this a pass from the Road of Burden. Right. Which puts us at the right. bottom yeah, of the deck. Pass thing. RNG gonna use that heirloom, but like we mentioned, a little too slow. It's not gonna be time to deploy. You gotta pay seven to get him back and then play him the next turn, but it's gonna be yeah, too little too late. Duocat's gonna be able to do it. Nicely done, Duo Cat. Way to navigate that. Navigated three Mokdos to victory. <laughs> well played, Duo Cat. That seemed to play out a little bit more like how you were expecting, right? Use the rats. Yes, and yes. Then... <laughs> although, although that still wasn't typical, uh, typical uh, Cambrai Relics versus uh, Archer's Port mid uh, mm -hmm. game. In that it's not like uh, it was kind of a race, which is really rare this matchup. Right. Well, we'll see uh, what what will game really bring us. Of course, we do not get to control play draw here, but it looks like Duo Cat on Cambrai Relics will be on the play for game three. And she have another two power hand, which will which he will probably throw away. Yeah, I remember RNG went down to six on that last game too. I almost forgot because they were able to deploy their plan so well, but it was on a mull to six, and RNG going to mull this one back as well. Oh, no. Well, it's free power hand, actually, so it, it works. Yeah, not bad. I wonder if we're going to see an equalize for cards at some point. <laughs> and with Scout, with Scout, you can kind of yeah. make sh almost sure that you have that force power. We see an exploit on exploit the works as here. well. Yeah, you can exploit is also kind of power. Right. Yeah, you can plunder away. Pillar of progress for Duo Cat. Get that ramp on. But exploit's gonna be a nice turn two play for RNG. Disrupt Duo Cat's plan a little bit. Plunder away. Make sure you hit your third power. Yeah, I'm not sure. Actually, it would be RNG who play. Equalize for cards. It may be dual card actually. Yeah, uh, it might be. Yeah. Draw it. Interesting. Currently, didn't did not want to, to to go for power here. It it, it may it may strike back actually. I'm right, gonna play but the we'll job see. peacekeeper here. Perilous research. Rocket only have uh, Wrath, no defense in hand. So, and... okay, RNG got his first power. Wasteland Broker, like, yes. let's see, is this going to be Makta or is this going to be Speaking Circle? I think it will be Makta. Yep, Makta again, yep. So Makta going to go four, five co four copies of Makta in the deck. This probably would uh, have Dokka to play Wrath. No? Oh, okay. He, he, he already have two, sure. uh, two relic uh, findings. So. It's going to get a pair of 3-3s three and draw two cards. Pretty good draws, too. Equalize and age worn Vestige. That's going to be pretty Vestige, good for Duo Cat. And RNG is not even really close to ending this. I guess Vestige with Spellcraft would be the next turn play. To keep... Uh, Shenra speaks uh, for Magdus. Yeah. Yeah, this one, I think this is a little bit what you were talking about there. I can see I can see how this game is played out with Duo Cat hitting those power, being able to wait on the rats and not have to fire them off super early defensively, just drawing some cards, and now they have two rats or three rats in hand, one of them being an Ageborn Vestige, and RNG's hand is, you know, silence, removal, blueprints. It's just Duo Cat can definitely. I just, I'm just not sure about this, uh, this third unit uh, played by RNG because yeah. I think it was pretty obvious that Duokat would go for us next turn. I think so. I, I guess maybe if RNG really wanted to get speaking circles in there, you know, they could sacrifice the unit to basically just go put them in the deck. Hey, yeah. Equalize for both units and cards uh, is always good. Yeah. 
Did you continue to pound face with uh, with the relic oh. weapon? There's the Makta. That's what RNG it... wanted. And I guess there is the Shadra Speaks. Just straight away. You don't want to, to wait, I guess. There we go. Shenra Speaks going to silence and then kill that Makto. So that Makto is gone for good. But there's three more sitting at the top of the deck somewhere for RNG, along with a couple speaking circles. Yes, but if I remember correctly, Duaket already have uh, coveted gemstone in play. So he can uh, fetch Grodov's mm -hmm. burden anytime now. Yeah. And that would help him get rid of one of the Maktos. So he actually went and grabbed Martyr's Chains, which is interesting. Powerful That's another card, way to, to, to get rid of Maktos. You can play them all you want. Uh, and then you just keep, you just keep killing just it every die. turn. <laughs> yes. And with Diana, next turn, I guess this game is... Up. Looks like it. Blueprints. Oh, yeah. We saw this last game as well. Drawing Blueprints, not, not really what RNG wants to do at this point. Thankfully, for RNG, does have enough power to be able to sack it right away, but it's still slow. I mean, if Dockets draw to power, two depleted powers next to turns, he can just, for example. Mm. Oh, well, Speaking oh, Circle is also or, pretty good. <laughs> yes. All right, Chemical Rounds, the first one. Decay, deal two damage. Uh, that's the. The Legion twinning spell. I'm not sure what that shadow one was. Or in taxation. Yeah, Deal so three damage, huge. life steal. Haas, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, Haas. Hope you're enjoying it tonight. I wonder why Diana wasn't played. Hmm. Well, RNG is going to get a speaking circle of their own, and that one's a kill duo. Okay. RNG would, would, have to, would have to play his unit this turn as well. Or or had he already played power? If he hasn't, he really needs really removal here. Otherwise, he'll, he'll die. I don't remember if he played power this turn already. Uh, I guess not, because he was he had eight last turn, so mm. yes. He would be able to deploy this for five. I right, didn't see what those choices were for RNG. We'll, we'll find out here in a moment. You gotta pick one yeah, it's, because these will it's kill kind each of other. It's for eight exits that uh, game will show you uh, spells that were already drafted. Drafted. Right. Yeah. Uh, reread, rainfall, accord, and display of tradition. Just gonna draw, draw two cards and discard a card. Here's a Mokdo now. And a Jada Peacekeeper. So RNG just desperately trying to get some units out. Those speaking circles oh, will knock each other off. So okay, you need, you need any removal. Yep, any removal and that's it. Well, does he just now, but... Is that a no, 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 no. You can play God of Burden, but you can't spellcraft it, so... Right. All right, Diana going to hit. Draw a card. Builder's Decree also going to be pretty good here. Going to shut down that Mokdo and leave Duo Cat with a 10 10 behind. And 20 20 and 4 8 actually because of the Marker Chain. Yeah. Yeah, the power also works. Right, power because of the Martyr's Chains. Uh, now, is there anything RNG can flip off of Speaking Circle here? Unfortunately for RNG, Equalize doesn't even do it because having this uh, Jada Peacekeeper out there and yes, then. Uh, I guess. Also take I guess Renji decided he, he, he didn't want to see it. 